Hello, Wolf Pack. Welcome back. You know, as much as we've lost faith in the great Konami games, they did truly have some of the best villains, and we give them credit for. This is the Top 5 Konami Villains. Number 5. Jigsaw, from Saw the Game and its sequels. Whether or not you're a Saw fan, one thing Konami certainly got right was the villain of the game. Much like the films, Jigsaw has an illuminating presence throughout the game. He has abducted a detective named Officer Tap, forcing him to play his little game. If he refuses, then Jigsaw will just tap into him. <laughs> Death traps and murder and blood ensues, you know the rest. First of all, yes, they did get Jigsaw's original actor, I believe Tobin Bell is his name. Yeah, he came back to return to his old role, and boy does it show. Thanks to all the effort put into the villain, Jigsaw is certainly one of the memorable characters that gamers saw from this game. Number 4. The Shredder, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. A great arcade game always needs a great final boss. Usually, the final boss of every Ninja Turtles game is the Shredder, their arch nemesis. In the most popular game we know, Shredder and his army of evil steal the Statue of Liberty and for some reason send the Turtles back into multiple timelines to get rid of them. Only for him to send his army back in time also to kill them anyway. Well, back in the 80s, villains were dumb that way. But back on topic... The Shredder was one of the most memorable villains of the Turtles franchise. Taking advantage of that, Konami successfully took the Shredder and recreated him as the hardest boss of any of their arcade games. For some unknown reason, the Shredder was also given magical powers just to be more harder and challenging. Yes, because the Shredder has always been way too easy to beat that he needed to be even harder than before. Nevertheless, Shredder has successfully solidified his status as both a Ninja Turtles and a major Konami Games villain. Number 3 Dracula from the Castlevania series Although Dracula did make our adaptational heroes list, he still ends up becoming one of the darkest villains in the Castlevania series. Ignoring his past as a tragic hero, Dracula was once a warrior turned vampire lord. Now he commands a legion of vampires to wipe out all humanity and feasts on the blood to grow even stronger. Yes, he's going to drain us of our blood resources, basically. However, standing in his way is his arch enemy, Simon Belmont, who Dracula intends to be, to be the first human to drink first. As the staple villain of the series, Dracula is treated as a very serious threat and shall always remain one of the coolest vampires in media that does not suck. Number 2 A villain so scary, so awesome, that you may want to advert your eyes from the nightmares ahead. That's right, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Taking second place is the greatest Silent Hill monster, Pyramid Head himself. First appearing in Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head is the embodiment of James Sunderland's guilt and the overarching antagonist of the entire Silent Hill 2 game. Relentlessly stalking the innocent protagonist until he is punished for his sins. However, since he plays a role in other games, some fans theorize that good old Pyramid Head is actually the town's guardian, judge, jury, and executioner, or some combination of all the above. Since he goes around killing people, and sometimes raping people, so I guess he's also a corrupt cop. Though Parmy feels like that he has a much deeper connection to the haunted town of Silent Hill. Sadly, the movies have never done him justice, and at times it does feel like Pyramid Head is only used a lot because, you know, he's awesome and he's scary. He's just legendary that way, and they don't even get the point why they made him. For example, I love his appearance in Silent Hill Homecoming. Yes, I'm guilty of loving Silent Hill Homecoming. I never grew up with number two or three. But although he does appear in Homecoming, he never really did anything. He just showed up to the camera and then walked away. Hey, hey, kids, it's showtime! Alright, that was good, Pyramid Head. Here's your check. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! 
Nevertheless, Pyramid Head will always have a place in our hearts as one of Konami's greatest characters ever. Interestingly enough, Pyramid Head also has a lot of fangirls too as well. Guess the ladies love a man who knows how to play a triangle. Alas, our favorite Pyramid Head is only number two on this list. <laughs> And finally, we reach our number one, Big Boss, or as Japan calls him, Big Boss Su. One of the most powerful villains in the Metal Gear universe, Big Boss is the arch enemy and original version of Solid Snake. Big Boss was once a war hero until he became disillusioned with the government and turned into a soldier of fortune. Not that soldier of fortune. Big Boss is the leader of a mercenary group called Outer Heaven. Naturally, the only person who can defeat him is his own clone, Solid Snake. We chose Big Boss as our number one on this list because it was perfectly fitting to have the primary villain of Konami's most well-known franchise in first place. Sorry about that, Pyramid Head. Truly, this villain is a total boss. Here are some honorable mentions that didn't quite make it on the list, but in case you wanted to see him and were upset, here's the mention. Liquid Snake from the Metal Gear series. Yes, we wanted to have one per franchise, but we chose Big Boss because he was the most well-known one. Although Liquid Snake is, of course, a threatening villain in his own right, he didn't quite make it in because everybody loves Big Boss more. Mr. Burns, from the Simpsons arcade game. We liked Mr. Burns. He was one of the hardest boss fights in our favorite arcade game based on the Simpsons. Yes, the Simpsons arcade game was spectacular. However, Mr. Burns didn't make it on because all the other villains on this list have made it into sequel games and are more well known. Whereas, sadly, the Simpsons only have one arcade game, although I wish they would come up with a second one soon. And another enemy so shocking you might have not even guessed it would be mentioned on this list. Gee, is this that naive and dangerous of all animals known as... <laughs> No, no, seriously, the man we're talking about are the humans from Frogger. They were pretty much more of an obstacle than outright villains, but they deserved a mention on this list. Thank you for joining us here on Wolf and Friends Gaming. We hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to tune in for future videos. Goodbye.